the U.S. President Joe Biden has taken a bold step in dropping out of the U.S. presidential race. And now we, the people of Nigeria, are wondering if Bola Ahmed Tunumbu will do the same despite his failure to take the country from consumption to production. But instead, he took Nigeria from consumption to consumption. And ever since Bola Ahmed Tunumbu took over, the country has continued to sink. But instead of him to accept his failure, people like Bayo Ononuga are throwing the blame on Peter Obi, blaming him for their failure. We will come back to this in a moment. But before then, I want you to take a look at Biden's tweet as he took this bold step in stepping down for this 2024 presidential race against Donald Trump. The tweet reads in part. My fellow Americans, over the past three and a half years, we have made great progress as a nation. Today, America has the strongest economy in the world. We have made historic investment in rebuilding our nation, in lowering prescription drug costs for seniors, and in expanding affordable health care. To a record number of Americans, we've provided critical needed care to a million veterans exposed to toxic substance. Passed the first gun safety law in 30 years, appointed the first African-American woman to the Supreme Court and passed the most significant climate legislation in the history of the world. America has never been better positioned to lead than we are today. I know none of this could have been done without you, the American people. Together, we overcame a once in a century pandemic and the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. We have protected and preserved our democracy. And we have revitalized and strengthened our alliance around the world. It has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your president. And while it has been my intention to seek re-election, it's believed it is in the best interest of my party and my country. For me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term, I will speak to the nation later this week. In more details about my decision for now, let me express my deepest gratitude to all those who worked so hard to see me re-elected. I want to thank Vice President Kamala Harris for being an extraordinary partner in all this work and let me express my heartfelt appreciation to the American people for the faith and trust you have placed in me. I believe today what I always have that there is nothing American can do when we do it together. We just have to remember we are the United States of America. And after this speech, Biden has gone ahead to endorse Kamala Harris to face Trump in the next election. But we don't know if the Democrats are ready to accept her as the presidential candidate as they are other contenders, as you can see on my screen. Donald Trump has reacted to Biden's stepping down for the race and his tweets read in parts. 
crooked Joe Biden was not fit to run for president and is certainly not fit to serve and never was. He only attained the position of president by lies, fake news, and not leaving his basement. All those around him, including his doctor and the media, knew that he wasn't capable of being president and he wasn't. And now, look at what he's done to our country with millions of people coming across our borders totally unchecked and unvetted. Many from prison, mental institutions, and record numbers of terrorists. We will suffer greatly because of his presidency, but we will remedy the damage he has done very quickly. Make America great again. And right now, we await the Democrats to present a candidate, whether be it Kamala Harris or anybody as Donald Trump has stated that he is ready to defeat whoever the Democrats present. Now, we, the Nigerian people, are calling on the president of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, to emulate the American president, Joe Biden, by stepping down before the August, which the protest is about to take place. Because the Hariwa Youth Movement are saying there is no going back on this protest because of the hardship and hunger that has been in Nigeria. The APC are instead paying the imams and some church leaders to go and counter this protest. But this time around, the protesters have gone ahead to print a t-shirt and a hat for themselves because what we heard is that the government is trying to plan a counter protest using people like Asari Dokumbo and his boys. Some people have predicted that this might lead to a revolution and that is one of the reasons why the APC and Bola Ahmed Tinubu are doing everything at their own cost to make sure that the protest does not take place. But the Arewa and other notable Nigerians are saying there is no going back. And except the government turn things around, this protest must go on. But of course, Nigerians are beginning to wake up to the reality that this government is not doing anything to remedy the situation. And that is the reason why they have vowed to carry on that protest by August 1st. For now, we cannot conclude anything yet because August is like two weeks from now. And we are hoping that this government of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu will turn things around and eventually Nigeria will lower their guard on carrying out this protest. Now, let us be clear on one thing. This protest is never about Peter Obi, as Bayo Ononoga claimed the protest is about hunger in the land and things not moving the way they should. And I believe Nigerians will also emulate the people of Kenya because right now, if you go to Kenya, the country has begun work in progress. That is what we want for Nigeria. And that is what every citizen wants to see happen in Nigeria. 
the world is change because change is constant but until then the protest must go on as planned august 1st thanks for watching